Hey what's up guys, Crazy here, back in Borderlands 3 and today I want to show you some really awesome legendary weapon that I just got. This is the Stark Krokata, this is a melee one weapon which comes with some really awesome bonuses. As you can see it deals fire damage but the way it deals the fire damage is actually really freaking cool. So this weapon what it does is that it actually spawns volcanoes in the place where your enemies have died, meaning that you can engulf the entire battlefield with just volcanoes, all of them erupt and dealing a ton of damage in the surrounding area, staggering enemies, setting them on fire, dealing a ton of damage and it's actually such a fun weapon to play around with. I actually got it at about level 12 and I had a ton of fun with it since then. I'm dealing a ton of damage all over the place so of course I want to show you how to get this weapon, where I got it and what you need to do in order to get it. So let's jump right in and go over the actual stats. This is, as I was saying, the Stark Krokata. It has a whooping damage of 49, which is pretty good for a level 12 item. The accuracy is the most important here. It has a 95% accuracy, a 76% handling, meaning that you will hit your targets like most of the time. I, I almost never miss with this weapon and it also has a really nice 4.2 weapon zoom. On top of that, the reload time is rather decent at 4 seconds, but what makes up for that is the huge fire rate of 3.15 per second and the rather good magazine size of 14. But check out this perk over here, it reads get him angry and he's bound to erupt and this is basically what I was talking about, this is the volcano know that erupts as soon as you kill the enemies. I mean everything is being set on fire, it also staggers the enemy a little bit so they kind of have a harder time to shoot you and if they stay close to one another you can just stag these volcanoes upon one another on these enemies and you kill them, another volcano spawns and you can fill the entire battlefield with at least a number of these. So how do you get this weapon to begin with? Well first of all you need to reach a certain point in the story up until you get to travel to Promethea, which is the second planet that you will eventually go to. It's just a few hours in the game, so not really that complicated. Once you reach Promethea, you will start doing a bunch of main quests over there, up until the point where you will start picking up side quests as well, and a number of them will even be given to you by other characters, or you will just randomly find them in the world, and the mission, the specific side quest that you will want to look for is this one right here. Dynasty Diner, this is a series of quests or a series of events. It is a little bit complicated but it's definitely fun because you're fighting a lot of important enemies, some of which can drop some really good loot. So we'll need to locate Bo, which is an NPC, it's really easy to find him and he will start you on his mission. And from here on what you need to do is simply follow his quest line. I'm not going to spoil anything, the only thing I'm going to show you is this point over here where I actually got the legendary itself and eventually you will be given the task to get into this underground section over here on this part of the map. You cannot miss it so do not worry and here is where you will need to fight these really annoying wretch creatures. They swarm you pretty much so you'll need to take them fast but you will also need to take a lot of them out so that the queen spawns or the wretch nests get to spawn and that is the actual enemy that drops this item. So be careful here because the wretch nest actually has quite a bit of HP, it also deals quite a bit of damage but it shouldn't be too difficult to take her on. In this case I was using my bonus melee one weapon, this is another legendary that I got because I was in the VIP program as many of you probably were and she actually dropped really really fast even with this weapon and this is when the legendary actually popped as you can see it it's right here it just popped of course other enemies were attacking me but I managed to take it in time and from here on I just cleared the camp and here is also the location where this event actually takes place in so the weapon itself is actually really powerful I'm having a ton of fun with it and one more thing that I suggest you guys doing in case you pre-order the deluxe edition of the game is to also use the Deluxe Badass Combuster. This also increases the loot rarity of the items that drop, so I generally saw I had a better chance at getting legendaries. I think I got like 4 legendaries in just a few levels of playing and it was definitely way above the curve. Of course it could have been just RNG, but in this case I think this makes quite a bit of a difference, so you might want to go ahead and check it out. But uh, yeah, this is all there is to it. 
it. This is the weapon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and if you want to see more Borderlands 3 here on this channel, then leave a like on this video, subscribe and activate that notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next one.